As the leading manufacturer of compact controllers in Europe, Yumo produces a multitude of control units. For easy control tasks, besides mechanical thermostats, different electronic thermostats and microstats are available. Together with RTD temperature probes, thermocouples or different sensors with standard signal output, electronic thermostats are used for controlling temperature and further physical variables. For superior control tasks, controllers with PID control algorithm are used. The Yumo product range includes several compact and process controllers. This video shows important details for commissioning of a compact controller using the controller series Detron 300 as an example. The controller is available in different dimensions. We will use the Detron 304, size 96, 96 mm as an example. We would like to inform you about connection, configuration and operation of the device as two-state controller and as continuous controller. For general information regarding control engineering, we would like to recommend the technical book Control Engineering – A Practical Guide. Download free of charge from our homepage. The factory setting of the controller configuration is suitable for the following application. Measurement of a temperature at input 1 of the controller with the RTD temperature probe PD100 and 3-wire circuit. Temperature control as two-state controller. Control of the heater via the contact of output 1. In many cases, changing of the configuration is not necessary. In the case of another application, the setting of the controller is possible in the configuration level. The compact controller has got three levels. Operating level, parameter level and configuration level. For many applications, the configuration of the submenus inputs, controller and outputs is sufficient. The following application generally complies with the factory settings. But a transmitter with range 4 to 20 milliamps provides a temperature signal. The signal corresponds to a temperature range of 0 to 200 centigrades. Setting in the menu inputs. For further details you can refer to the operating manual of the Tetron series. In the configuration level you have to define the input signal of input 1 to be 4 to 20 milliamp. It's a linear signal. Setting of scale for the 4 to 20 milliamp input. Signal is 0 to 200 centigrades. Via the configuration level, you can enter into the menu input and input 1. The signal for input 1 is a 4 to 20 milliamp signal and shows linear behavior. In our example, 20 milliamp means a temperature of 200 centigrades. The basic function of the controller is configured. 
After setting off the set point to, for example, 150 centigrades, the controller heats until a temperature of 150 centigrades is reached. For most applications, PID function is necessary. For further information regarding control parameters, please refer to Chapter 3 of the technical book Control Engineering – A Technical Guide. With the controller, the PID parameters can be determined via the self-optimization procedure. After start of self-optimization, the controller switches the heater on and off and that causes an oscillation of the process value below the set point. When the self-optimization is finished, for most plans, the controller determined good PID parameters. Factory settings, the parameters are entered into the first control parameter Z. Calculation of proportional band, derivative time, reset time and furthermore the cycle time. Using the calculated parameters, process value is controlled to the set point. For further information regarding self-optimization, please refer to Chapter 7.1 of the technical book Control Engineering – A Technical Guide. Alternatively, the configuration can be done via the optional configuration program. For transferring of configuration data, the PC interface USB TTL converter is necessary. The shown PC interface USB TTL converter connects the computer with the DTRON 304. We start the setup program. The connection type to the controller has to be defined once. The PC interface is defined like a serial interface. The number of the interface must be given. The device is shown in the device list. Now the connection to the device is possible. Using the configuration program, the controller should be configured for the following application. In an annealing furnace, temperature measurement is done with the RTD temperature probe and three-wire circuit. The heating of the plant is affected electrically by a power controller. The control is done with 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Proportional to this signal, the power controller gives electrical power into the heater. We open a new file. The controller has a modular construction. Three slots can be used for different boards. Adjusting the dialog window to the existing hardware is necessary. The easiest possibility is automatic recognition. The hardware of the device is recognized. 
The analog output is offered via an optional board. In the example, this board is placed in slot number 2. With the available RTD temperature probe, you can use the factory setting in the menu Analog Inputs. Select Continuous Controller in the menu Controller. For self-optimization it must be defined that the used controller output 1 for heating exists as an analog output. For example, heating and cooling of the three-state controller is done via the so-called first and second controller output. The continuous controller of our example has got only one output regarding the controller function. The first controller output is assigned to the first binary output as standard. This output is deactivated when using a continuous controller. For the continuous controller, the first controller output is assigned to the analog output, here output 6. The signal is 4 to 20 milliamp for an output level of 0 to 100%. For connection of the components, the function connection diagram is helpful. The RTD temperature probe is connected to clamp 2 to 4 of the terminal block 2. The power controller is connected to clamp 6 and 7 of terminal block 1. The configuration data are transferred to the controller. Important variables can be recorded using the startup function. Under Edit, General Selection, you can select the required variables. In the first channel, the process value is recorded. In our example, the range is 0 to 200 centigrades. The range of the set point in channel number 2 is 0 to 200 centigrades as well. The output level corresponds to the first controller output and is recorded in channel number 3. Start of the recording. The maximum recording period is 24 hours. After a stop of recording, the data can be printed or stored. Thank you very much for your attention.